Auntie Colleen is peeking through and she sees her favorite nieces and nephew. I see David William and I see Eleanor Jane and I see Jean Marie Jane. And today is December 6th. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna read you two books today. The first book is about Arctic animals, animals that live where it's very, very cold. So it says Arctic animals by Jill McDonald. On the very top of our planet is a cold frozen place called the Arctic. It is covered in ice and snow, but lots of amazing animals live there. Let's go and meet them. Polar bears are big and white. They have thick fur and a layer of fat called blubber to keep them warm in the cold weather and icy weather. Their fur is oily so they can easily shake off the ice and water to stay dry. <gasps> what is this animal with a tusk like a unicorn's horn? It's a narwhal. A narwhal is a type of whale. The tusk is actually a very long front tooth. You know what? There's a narwhal in Auntie Colleen's favorite Christmas movie, Elf. Hop, hop, thump. The Arctic hare has shorter ears than other rabbits and a lot of fat and fur which help it to keep warm in cold temperatures. The Arctic Care's white fur lets it hide in the snow. <gasps> this little Arctic ground squirrel is busy preparing a cozy den and storing food for the winter. Soon it will be ready to hibernate. Hibernate is when it takes a nice long nap in the winter. Swoop! The snowy owl has dense white feathers to keep it warm. Golden eyes that can see food and can see food and enemies far away and sharp claws for hunting. There are no tall trees in the Arctic, so the snowy owl builds its nest on the ground. These feathered friends are puffins. They can swim and fly very quickly. A puffin's beak is gray in winter, but in spring, it turns bright orange. <gasps> Snort! A walrus has a large body, flat flippers, wrinkly skin, and whiskers that look like a mustache. Did you notice it also has one, two tusks? Walruses use their tusks to fight break holes in the ice, and help per pull their heavy bodies out of the water. <gasps> Caribou stay warm with a heavy coat of fur. They also have large fur-covered hooves that act like snowshoes to help them walk on ice and snow. Males and females both have antlers. The Arctic fox has a thick fur coat that changes color. It's white in the winter to blend in with the snow. It turns brown in the spring so the fox can hide among the rocks and plants. The Arctic fox has the warmest fur of any animal in the world. Howl! The Siberian Husky is one of the oldest breeds of dogs. It can run fast in the cold and pull a heavy sled across the ice and snow. Siberian Huskies curl into a tight ball to sleep and they cover their nose with their tail for extra warmth. Those are a kind of dog called the Siberian Husky. Some nights the Arctic sky is full of bright waves of color. All the animals come out to look. Do you see all the Arctic animals? That's the end of Arctic animals. I'll be back in a minute with one more book for today. A hug and a kiss and away.